In this tutorial, you will learn what a motion tween is and how to create one. So in Flash, there's two different kinds of motion tweens. There is a shape tween and a classic tween. First, let's show what a shape tween is. So what a shape tween does is it takes one piece of artwork and Flash does its best to transform it into another piece of artwork. So these are not symbols, these are selectable pieces of art. And what I've done is I've drawn a circle on frame one and a square on frame 30. So in between, I just right click and say create shape tween. And you'll see it takes my red circle and transforms it into a purple square. Now shape tweens can be really finicky. They are most useful for really simple shapes like this. But if I were to do a new layer and draw a stick figure, and then go into frame 30 and draw him, say, like crouching down like this over here. And then I right click in the middle and say create shape tween. Uh, you'll see Flash does, it does its best. By golly, it's trying. <laughs> so shape tweens are not very useful for stuff like this. It's better to just animate this frame by frame. But if you're doing a simple shape or like a change of color to one shape, shape tweens are awesome. The next example is a classic tween. So you can do either motion tweens or classic tweens. Both of them essentially do the same thing, but I find classic tween to be much easier to work with and have more options to work with. So when you're creating a classic tween, the first thing you need to do is take your artwork and go under modify and convert to symbol or press F8 for the hotkey. This is very important. You need to convert it to a symbol in order for it to move. So let's convert our square and call it green square, and then let's do the same for our circle. But this time we're gonna use the hotkey of F8, which brings up our convert to symbol window, and we'll call this red circle. So the type of graphic you wanna convert it to, I recommend selecting graphic. Buttons and movie clips are more for games or interactive media, but we're just doing animation. So let's just select graphic for everything we're converting. Registration point, this is the anchor point that it's gonna rotate on. So if I had it on here, the anchor point would be on the corner. So it would rotate around its corner. We'll just have it in the middle for now, and we'll press okay. So now what we want to do, we want to right click on our circle layer and say create classic tween. You'll see it turns purple and it has dots on it. So that means it's ready to be motion tweened. So what we want to do is we want to go down in our timeline, say frame 30 and right click and say insert keyframe. Make sure it's insert keyframe, not insert blank keyframe or insert frame. Insert keyframe. And you'll see our purple dots have turned into an arrow. So what that means is I can take frame one as its starting position and frame 30 will be the position it ends on. And you'll see flash automatically animates the in-betweens. Pretty cool. Let's do the same thing for our square. So again, we've already converted it into a symbol and we're gonna right click and say create classic tween. Then we're gonna go to frame 30. And this time we're gonna press the hotkey of F6 to insert a keyframe. And you'll see we have our arrow, meaning the motion tween is working correctly. So we can move it. But motion tweens aren't just for moving things. You can also scale this up and rotate it, squish it, skew it, do anything you want to it and it'll motion tween. Now, what is this useful for? Well, I thought the most useful example would be a car. So I have my car artwork and you'll see by these dots, that means it's not a symbol. It's still artwork that I can still manipulate and change. And I also have one wheel. So he's missing a wheel. And that's because I want to convert this into a symbol first and then duplicate it onto a separate layer. So one thing to keep in mind for motion tweens is you want each piece of artwork to be on its own layer. Just like before, with our circle and square, we have circle and square both on their own layers. If I were to take this circle and paste it into the square layer, you'll see our arrow disappears and our dots are broken. So it still animates the square, but our uh, circle is doing all sorts of weird things. So just keep that in mind, one object per layer. So for our car, remember we're gonna use our hotkey of F8 to convert to symbol. We'll call this car. And same for our wheel, F8, and call it wheel. Now for a wheel, it's important to have our registration in the center because a wheel rotates in the center, right? So we'll press okay. So now we need to copy this wheel. So we'll just select it, press control C, to copy, create a new layer with our new layer button, select that layer and press control V to paste that wheel. And now we have two wheels. Pretty cool. So now he can move. Well, almost. So I'll show you what I have here. If I press this, I can convert things to outlines. So that way I can see my stage more easily. So I have a background that's much longer than the stage. And I have my car 
and my two wheels, each on their own layer. And they're all converted to symbols already. So now, we're going to say our animation will last for 60 frames. So I'm going to select every layer on frame 60, right click, and say insert keyframe. And it inserted keyframes for all of our objects. And then I'm going to do the same somewhere in the middle. Select all these layers, right click, and say create classic tween. And automatically we have our arrows, meaning everything is working properly. If you don't have arrows, check to make sure that your object is a symbol. And make sure that there's one symbol per layer. So now what we want to do is we want to move our car forward. So I'm going to select his wheels and the car. And I'm just going to have it inch forward a little bit. Because what we really want to move is the background. We want the background to be moving behind. So we'll just move it all the way like that. So now, we have a background moving and a car moving. But what about the wheels? Well, under Motion Tweens, there's all sorts of properties. So we go under our Properties menu, and you'll see a Rotate option. And right now it's on Auto. So what that means is if I rotated, say, this car, it automatically rotates the car. But for the wheels, we want to select one of the wheel tweens and say Rotate Clockwise, because it's rotating clockwise. And then we'll select how many times it rotates. We'll say four just to try it out. And we'll do the same with the other wheel. So just select somewhere where it's motion tweened and go under rotate clockwise and rotate the same amount as the other wheel. So now when we play it, we have our wheels moving. Pretty cool, right? And that's how you create some simple motion tweens. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to download this example flash file, just check in the description below for the download link. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll be coming out with more of these in the future. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Uh, bye bye